I got the horse right here, the name is Paul Revere, and he's the guy that says you know weather is clear. I can do, I can do, this guy says the horse can do, and he says the horse can do, I can do, can do. I'm taking Valentine, time, cause on the morning line, the guy stopped and made it out of five to nine. Hadn't changed, says the boy, I didn't change, 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 says the boy, I Question. It's about Nathan. Uh, 
Is he got a place for his uh, rap game? We don't know yet. The heat is on. He's still looking for a place. Okay. I'll tell him that I'm loaded and looking for some action. I just acquired 5,000 potatoes. 5,000 bucks? Where did you acquire that? I collected the reward of my father. Everybody's looking for action. I just with Nathan Vine. Why Lieutenant Brannigan, Mr. South Street? Why isn't it Lieutenant Brannigan of the New York Police Department? A pleasure. Any of you guys see Nathan Detroit? Which Nathan Detroit is that? I mean the Nathan Detroit who's been running a floating crap game around here and getting away with it by moving it to a different spot every night. And why are you telling us this? Your Honor. I am telling you this because I know you two bums who work for Detroit, rustling up customers for his crap game. We do? Yeah. Oh. You can tell him for me. I know that right now he's running around trying to find a spot. Well, nobody's going to give him a spot because they all know Brannigan is breathing down their neck. Something Not wrong, yet. Mr. Detroit? Uh, hello there, Lieutenant Brannigan. I hope you don't think I was talking about you. There are other lousy Brannigans. Detroit, I have just been talking to your colleagues about your crap game. I imagine you were having trouble finding a place. Well, as you know, the heat is on since you live on your own salary. Did you find a place? What does he want from me? What does he think I am, a sex maniac? I merely run a small crap game for the convenience of those who want a little action, and in exchange, I take a small cut. Is that such a crime? Yeah. Nathan, did you find a place? Did you find a place for the game? I did. I, I did find a place for the game. Tomorrow night's game is being held in the Radio City Music Hall. How are you going to fix the ushers? No. Ah! I tried all the regular places. The back of the cigar store, the funeral parlor. Nathan, you said once that there might be a chance for the Biltmore Garage. I called over to the Biltmore Garage and spoke to Joey Biltmore himself. He says he'd lend me the place if I give him a thousand bucks. A thousand bucks? In cash. He won't take my marker. The marker's no good, huh? Uh, what do you mean? My marker's uh, not just a piece of paper that says, I owe you one thousand dollars, sign Nathan Detroit. The marker's like a pledge that a guy can't welch on. It's like not saluting the flag. My mark is as good as gold, but Joey Billmore doesn't think so. It almost seems impossible. I mean, without a livelihood, why? I've been running this crap game ever since I was a juvenile delinquent. Nathan, can't you do something? What can I do? I'm broke. I couldn't even buy Adelaide a present day. And do you know what day it is? It's our 14th anniversary. Yeah? Yeah? Yeah, we've been engaged for 14 years. <laughs> Nathan, concentrate on the crap game. It's out the pier with my players, the Greeks in town. Brandy bottle baits. Great swim. I know I can make a fortune, but where can I have the game? The Biltmore Garage wants a grand. But we ain't got a grand on hand. And they now got a lock on the door. The gym at PS84. There's the stock room behind McCloskey's bar. But Mrs. McCloskey ain't the good scout. And things being how they are, at the back of the police station is out. So the Biltmore Garage is the spot, but the 1,000 bucks we ain't got. Buy a good old and buy a whole day. Nathan, 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 Detroit. If you're looking for action, you'll furnish the spot. When the heat is on, it's never too hot. Not for good old reliable days. For it's always just a short walk to the oldest established permanent bloody crap game in New York. There are well heeled shooters everywhere, everywhere. There are well heeled shooters everywhere. And an awful lot of lettuce for the fella who can get us. Yeah, if we only had a lousy little grand, we could be a millionaire. Good old reliable Nathan, 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 Nathan,
Okay, Nathan, you know who else is looking for action? Sky Masterson. Sky Masterson's in town. Sky Masterson? Now there's the highest player of them all. Whoa, higher than the Greek? Higher than anyone? Why do you think they call him Sky? That's how high he bets. Why, I would saw him bet on cockroach. Another time, he wouldn't take penicillin on the account. He bet his fever would go above 104 degrees Fahrenheit. Well, did it? <laughs> did it. He so lucky he went to 106. Good old Sky. Well, then why didn't he just borrow the thousand from Sky? No, no. With that money, with Sky, it ain't lending money. It's it's betting money. So why didn't I bet him? Why didn't I bet Sky a thousand? You would bet with Sky Masterson? I ain't scared. I just gotta make a bet I'm guaranteed to win. He likes crazy bets like uh, what lump of sugar a fly will land on or how far you can kick a piece of cheesecake. <laughs> cheesecake! That's it, quick! Run to Minnie's and ask him how many pieces of cheesecake and how many pieces of screw we sold yesterday. How much cheesecake? How much strudel? What do you want to know that for? Like, just beat it. He comes out of the <laughs> Oh, hello, Nathan. Hi, pigeon. You go ahead, girls. Order me a tuna fish on rye and a chocolate sundae. Oh, with tomato ketchup and mayonnaise. Okay, Adelaide. Hi, girls. We got to get back to the hot box. You still rehearsing? That slave driver, Charlie, he's been working us all day. Finally, I says to him, look, Charlie, I'm starving. I gotta get out before he gets something to eat. And he says, you don't want to eat. You just want to sneak out and meet that cheap bum, Nathan Detroit. And what'd you say to him? Well, I told him, I says, I'll meet whoever I want. Huh, don't upset yourself. How's it cold? Oh, it's much better, thank you. Um, Nathan, happy anniversary. A present? For me? Well, I hope you like it. A bell. Read the card. Sugar is sweet and so is jelly, so put this bell around your belly. <laughs> and that's so, uh, sweet. Now look, honey, about your gift. I was gonna get you a gold watch with two rubies on the side. Oh, Nathan, you shouldn't have. It's all right. I did it. I'm sorry. No, I kind of like it when you forget to give me presents. It makes me feel like we're married. <laughs> well, don't worry, honey. One day, I'll be in the money, and you'll have more mink than a mink. Oh, Nathan, I can do without anything, just so long as you don't start running the crap game again. Uh, the crap game? What absurd thought. Uh, Ladies, 12 hundred cheesecake and 1,500 strudel. What? Yesterday, Mindy sold 1,200 cheesecake, 1,500 strudel. More strudel than cheesecake. That's fantastic. Nathan, what is this? Uh, nothing, honey. <laughs> hey, 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 I just met up looking for any news yet. Uh, not yet, Harry, but I'll let you know. All right, Detroit, but you better hurry up. Nathan, what is going on? Uh, his wife is um having a baby. What's he asking you for? He's nervous because it's uh his first wife. <laughs> <laughs> and now look, honey, I'm expecting spells, and I know you're very hungry. Nathan, are you trying to get rid of me? Uh, no, I just don't want your sandwich to get soggy. Now, fellas, take Adelaide here to the drugstore, will ya? You see, honey, there's, uh, it's across the street, and there are a lot of open manholes around. Just the sweetest, Nathan. Goodbye. Sky Masterson, good to see you. Nathan, you won't How are you, Sky? You look fantastic. Feel great, Nathan. Two wonderful weeks out west of Nevada. Great place, beautiful scenery, helpful climate, and I beat them for 50 G's at Blackjack. 50 G's? Uh, gonna be a town hall? Uh, no, flying to Havana tomorrow. Havana? Yeah. There's a lot of action down there. Why don't you come with me? Uh, no, no, uh, I'm not too busy. But say, in the meantime, how about we uh, drop over to Minnie's for a bite of cheesecake? Uh, no, I'm not hungry, but tell me, how's Adelaide? Uh, fine, fine. Still, um, dancing in the hot box. I suppose you two will be getting married one of these days? We've got to soon, early. Uh, but Nathan, we can fight it. See, guys like us, as good as a doll's company might be, they must always take second place to aces back to back. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, say, you sure you're not hungry for a slice of cheesecake or something? I'm okay, but I am going to go get the late results. But would you admit that Mindy's had the best cheesecake in town? Uh, yes, I am quite partial to Mindy's cheesecake. No oh, wait, Some think the Mindy's strudel is better. Say, what do you think he sells more of? Cheesecake or strudel? Well, I never give it much thought, but if anyone's like I am, I'm sure Mindy sells much more cheesecake than strudel. For how much? Huh? For how much? Why, Nathan. I never knew you to be a betting man. You always take a percentage off the top. I figured we'd make a bet for uh, old time's sake. <sighs> Nathan, let me tell you a story. Oh? When I was a young man about to go out in the world, my father told me a very valuable thing. Son, the old guy says like this, 
I'm sorry I can't bankroll you to a very large start, but not having many t potatoes to give you, I'm now going to stake you to some very valuable advice. One of these days in your travels, a guy's going to come up to you with a brand new deck of cards in which the seal has not yet been broken. And he's going to offer to bet you that he can make the jack of spades jump out of the deck and squirt cider in your ear. But son, do not bet this man, for as sure as you are standing, there you are going to end up with an ear full of cider. Now, Nathan... I do not claim you've been clocking Mindy's cheesecake. Oh, well, Sky, you don't think but that. But if you're really looking for some action, I will bet you the same thousand. You do not know the colored necktie you have on. Well? No bet. Navy, what a crazy color. Oh, Nathan, we took Adelaide to the drugstore. Don't bother me. Okay. Hi, Sky. We're good. How's it with you fellas? Not bad. Nicely, nicely. Um, Nathan, we took Adelaide to the drugstore, and she said for you to uh, pick her up at the hot box after the dance, and don't be late. Yes, dear. I mean... Yes, dear. That is husband talk if I ever heard it, Nathan. You are trapped, and Adelaide, you have the type of doll that's most difficult to unload. But I love Adelaide. And besides, a guy without a doll? What is a guy without a doll? A doll's a necessity, because without a doll, who would holler at him? Nathan, I'm not putting the rap on dolls, I'm just saying a guy should have them when he wants them. They are easy to find. Oh, not dolls like Adelaide. Nathan, figure weight for age. All dolls are the same. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Then how come you ain't got one? How come you're going to Havana tomorrow without one? I like to travel light. But if I do wish to take a doll to Havana, there is the largest assortment available. Not real high class dolls. Any doll, you name them. Any doll. Any doll. And you name them. Would you bet a thousand on that? Would you bet a thousand that if I need a doll, you would take it to Havana tomorrow? You got a bet. Alright. I name her. Her? Saida. that betting can lead to. Agatha, coffee. Didn't I see you a little while ago on Broadway? Possibly. I'm trying to find the courage to come in here. And you're willing to give up gambling? Of course. I've never become a gambler at all had I not fallen in with evil companions always trying to offer me sucker bets. Here you are, young man. Oh, thank you. you know, it feels good just talking to you people. Well, you just go right on talking to Sister Sarah, and you'll be all right. The Bible says, seek and ye shall find. Very good. I wish we could find more sinners like you. We're out every day trying. Well, why don't you try the night time? How's that? Well, as a former sinner, I happen to know that the best time to find sinners is between midnight and dawn. You might even try having an all-night session against the devil. A very good suggestion indeed. Thank you, Brother Masterson. You're welcome. Coffee is so good, I can't understand why it isn't a sin. <laughs> Fine old lady. I suppose she sort of looks after you? We look after each other. Uh-huh. And if one of you goes someplace, the other follows? Yes, of course. Of course. Here are two pamphlets that I would like you to read. They will offer a good deal of comfort. Thank you. And we are holding a midnight prayer meeting this Thursday, which I'm sure you'll wish to attend. Well, Miss Sarah, I hope you don't think I'm getting out of line, but I think it's wonderful seeing a pretty doll and a nice-looking lady like yourself sacrificing herself for the sake of others. Staying here in this place, do you ever go any other place, travel or something? 
Well, I would like to go to Africa. Well, that's a little far, but there are many wonderful places just a few hours from New York. By plane. Ever been on a plane? No. Oh, it's wonderful. There is another pamphlet I think you should read. Thank you. Of course, I'll need a lot of personal help from you. My heart is black as two feet down a wolf's gullet. I will be speaking at the Thursday meeting. I'll need private sessions. Why don't we have dinner or something? <laughs> I think not, Mr. Masterson. Sorry. Just blossoming under the warmth of your kindness. Hey, that's wrong. What's wrong? It's not Proverbs, it's Isaiah. It's Proverbs. Sorry, no peace unto the wicked. Isaiah chapter 57, verse 22. Isaiah? Isaiah. There have been two things known in every hotel room in the country. Sky Masterson and the Gideon Bible. I must have read the good book ten or twelve times. You've read the Bible twelve times. What's wrong with the Bible? Besides, in my line of work, the strangest information always comes in handy. I once won five G's on a parlay, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Tell me, why are you here, Mr. Masterson? I told you, I'm a sinner. You're lying. Well, lying's a sin. Look, I'm a big sinner. If you get me, it's eight to five, the others follow. You need sinners, don't you? We're managing. Let's be honest. This mission's laying an egg. Look, why don't you let me help you? I bet I can fill this place with sinners. I don't bet. How about we make a proposition? When's this big meeting of yours? Thursday? I will guarantee you one dozen genuine sinners. I will also guarantee that they will sit still and listen to you. And what's my end of the bargain? Have dinner with me. Why do you want to have dinner with me? I'm hungry. Here. What's this? Sky Masterson's marker for 12 sinners. If you don't think it's good, ask anybody in town. I owe you one dozen sinners. I'll pick you up at noon tomorrow for dinner. At noon? It will take us some time to get there. To get where? To my favorite restaurant. And where is that? El Cafe Cubana in Havana. El Cafe Cubana in Havana? Where, where do you want to eat? Howard Johnson's? But Havana! Look, why not? The plane gets us there in five hours and back the same night. Plus, the food is great. I now realize, Mr. Gambler, when you were describing the blackness of your heart, you didn't do yourself justice. And I now realize, Sister Sarah, that no matter how beautiful a sergeant is, she's still a sergeant. Please go away. Why don't you change your pitch, Sarge? Come to the mission one call except guys. I hate guys. I don't hate anyone. Except me. It is nice to know that it's just me personally and not all guys in general. It is nice to know that somewhere in this world there's a guy who might appeal to the Sarge. I wonder what this guy might be like. Well, he will not be a gambler. I'm not interested in what he will not be. I'm interested in what he will be. Don't worry, I'll know. For I've imagined every nothing From his strong moral fiber To the wisdom in his head To the homey aroma of his pride You have wished of a Scarsdale Galahad, the breakfast in book, brother's type. Yes. And I shall meet him when the time is right. You've got the guy all figured out. I have. Including what he smokes, all figured out. All figured out.
talking about love. You can't do it like that. What are you picking, a guy or a horse? Well, I wouldn't expect a gambler to understand. You want to know how a gambler feels about the big heart throb? No. Well, I'll tell you. Mine will come as a surprise to me. Mine, I lead to chance and chemistry. Chemistry? Yeah, chemistry. Suddenly I'll know when my love comes along. I'll know then and there. I'll know by the sights of her face. How I care, how I care, how I care. And I'll stop. And I'll stare, and I'll know long before we can speak. I'll know in my heart. I'll know, and I won't ever ask. Am I right? Am I wise? Am I smart? But I'll stop, and I'll stare at that face. In the throne, yes, I'll know when my love comes around, when my love comes Take a crack at the other cheek. Nathan, it ain't a horse, it's a doll. Joey, 
Nathan, there will be no crap game here tomorrow unless I get my dough in advance. Uh, Joey, you've known me for a long time now. That's why I want it in advance. <laughs> well, fine. I can't talk no more. I gotta meet out later at the hot box. Can I at least tell the guys it'll be at your place? Not till I get my dough. You'll have it tomorrow. Goodbye. Goodbye. I hope you get stabbed by a studzaker. Nathan, 
No matter how terrible a fellow seems, you can never be so sure some girl won't go for him. Take us! <laughs> Nathan, starting next week, I'm going to be getting a raise. So with what I'll be making, I was wondering what you would think if maybe we could finally get married? Uh, we got to some time. Well, I know, Nathan, but um, I'm starting to worry about Mother. What about your mother? Well, Nathan, this is something I've never told you before, but my mother, back in Rhode Island, she thinks we're married. And why would she think that? Well, I couldn't be engaged for 14 years, could I? People don't do that in Rhode Island. They all get married. Then why is it such a small state? Anyway, I wrote her I was married. You did, huh? Uh-huh. And then after about two years... What, after two years? We had a baby. <laughs> you told your mother we had a baby? Well, I had to, Nathan. Mother wouldn't have understood if we had it. Oh, what type of baby was it? It was a boy. I named it after you, Nathan. Thank you. You're welcome. This, um, uh, Nathan Jr. Where is he now? Oh, he's at boarding school. I wrote mother he won the football game last Saturday. I should have bet on it. But Nathan, that's not all Nathan. Don't tell me he has a sister. All those years, Nathan, mother believes in big families. Just give me the final count. Five. Your mother must be a glutton for punishment. But Nathan, it's all going to be all right now because now we're finally going to get married. Adelaide, how could you do this? Especially with two nights so broad like your mother. But Nathan, you don't even know my mother. I'll be meeting you soon, and what do I tell her? What do I tell her I did with the five kids? Trade them into the Phillies or something? What are we gonna do? We could get married. Oh, marriage ain't something you just jump into like a kettle of fish. We, we ain't ready. I'm ready, Nathan. What do you think I got in this box? Sally's Wedding Shop. Could it guess? It's a wedding veil. I've had it for three years now. I won't show it to you because it's bad luck. Would you like to see it? It's bad luck. So you see, Nathan, darling, I got the veil. Now all we need is the license and the blood test. Oh, uh, what? Blood test, it's a law. What a city. First they closed my crap game and now they open my veins. Nathan, you're not thinking about running that crap game again, are you? Uh, no, but Adelaide, why do you think I gave up the crap game in the first place? It's because I love you, and I want us to be the happiest married couple there is in the world. Has anyone seen an earring out here? I don't think so. <gasps> you! I was all dated up with society mask, and he breaks it on account of your dopey crap game. Honestly, Adelaide, I pity you. Ah, here it is. <laughs> uh, Adelaide, I'm on my knees here. Oh, get up. Reminds me of your crap game. Oh, cheer up, honey. We're going to get married. I don't believe you anymore. Uh, come on, honey. Let's see some of that old smile. A uh, That's my girl. I'll uh, see you tomorrow. It says here the average unmarried female. Basically insecure Due to some long frustration May react With psychosomatic symptoms Difficult to ignore Affecting the upper respiratory tract in other words, just from waiting around for that plain little band of gold, a person can develop a cold. You can spray her wherever you figure the strap to cock I like. You can give her a shot for whatever she's got, but it just won't work. If she's tired of getting the fish eye from the hotel like a person can develop a cold. It says here, the female remaining single Just in the legal sense Shows a neurotic tendency See note Tendency, see note Oh, tendency, see note No, 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 no Chronic organic syndrome Hypertense involving the eye, the nose, and throat. In other words, just 
worrying whether the wedding is on or off. A person can develop a cough. You can feed her all day with the vitamin A and the broma fees. But the medicine never gets anywhere near with a problem. She's getting a kind of a name for herself and a name a he's. A person can develop a cough. And brother, oh, just from stalling and stalling and stalling the wedding dream, a person can develop blood grip. When they can train for Niagara, and she can hear church bells chime, the compartment is air conditioned, and the boots are Then they get up at Saratoga for the fourteenth time. Wears tails with the front seeming white. 
Who the hell do you think he's dick <laughs> on Saturday night? When a lazy slob takes a good steady job And he smells from my chalice and mama song Call it dumb, call it clever, I'm you get on forever That the guy's only doing it for some dumb, some dumb, some dumb The guy's only doing it for some dumb Gentlemen like Big Drew here, do you? 
a big jewel. Believe me that when I say that Nathan, uh, when Nathan the Joy promises something, you can be guaranteed that he will. Well, well, an interesting gathering indeed. The cream of society. <laughs> Angie the Ox, Society Max, Rusty Charlie, Liberlips Louie, Hey Harry the Horse, all the way from Brooklyn. Pardon me, I'm very bad at names, but your face looks familiar. Mind telling me where you're from? East Sister Royal, Illinois. Oh, what do you do there? I'm a scoutmaster. <laughs> well, don't ever help my mother across the street. Mmm, lovely. This looks like the male chorus from Blossom Time. What's the occasion? Oh, well, it's a, it's a party. party. Yeah. Yes, yes. Indeed. What kind of a party? Goodbye, girls. It's a bachelor party. Nathan's getting married. What? <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah. that is right, Lieutenant. It is a bachelor party, huh? <laughs> Nathan here is getting married. Yes, sir. For he's a jolly good fellow. For he's a jolly good fellow. For he's a jolly good fellow. Which nobody can deny. It's a bachelor dinner. It's a bachelor dinner. Yes, sir. A bachelor dinner. Just thinking, after 14 years, I'm finally going to be Mrs. Nathan Detroit. That certainly does fly. Tell me, Nathan, when is the happy day? When will it be, Nathan? Uh, well, Nathan, these good fellows were nice enough to give you a bachelor dinner. You should at least tell them the wedding date. Uh, we need time for our license and blood test for you. Gee, wouldn't it be great if we could be married tomorrow, right after my show at the Hot Box? But we need time for our license. Hello. Uh, what? You can drive down to Maryland. What's the name of that town? Pimlico. Not Pimlico, no. <laughs> Nathan, Elkton. They'll marry you right away. They don't ask for a blood test. Isn't that unhealthy? <laughs> well, come on, Nathan. That's a great idea. Hello. You know what? I need to let you out get away. Ah, my Buick. Oh, Nathan, let's do it. Oh, what the hell. My congratulations too, Nathan. And I only hope there is nothing in heredity. I've got so much to do before we elope. You'll be at the hot box tomorrow night? I'll uh, have a table reserved in our name, and I'll be dressed up in whatever we elope in. Oh, I'm so happy. I ought to wire my mother. Only what will I wire her? Send a telegram and made it back. I better wait till we have five children. It won't take us long. Well, you certainly are a lucky man, Nathan. What do you think about it, Big Jewel? Tell me, how long you know the dog? Fourteen years. But you crap! Nathan, you better find a place. How can I? The money from Sky ain't come yet. Maybe it won't come. Maybe he did take the tall dog in. He couldn't have. How could he? She couldn't have gone.
Monte Cristo, the second oldest mission in Cuba. Well, come on. Where to? To see the oldest. <laughs> Dungeons where prisoners were thrown to the sharks. Sounds like a million laughs. Here is buried Christopher Columbus. At least he's lying down. A drink. A milkshake, please. Dulce de leche. It's over. 
You're still champ. Are you all right? Am I all right? Ask me. How do I feel? Ask me now that we're cozy and clingy. Well, sir, all I can say is if I were a bell, I'd be ringing. From the moment we kissed tonight, that's the way I just gotta behave. Boy, if I were a lamp, I'd light. And if I were a banner, I'd rave. Ask me how do I feel, little me with my quiet upbringing. Well, sir, all I can say is if I were a gate, I'd be swinging. And if I were a watch, I'd start popping my spring. Or if I were a bell, I'd go ding dong, ding dong, ding. Ask me how do I feel from this chemistry lesson I'm learning. Chemistry? Yeah. How do you like it? 
so peaceful and wonderful. You're finding out something I've known for quite a while. My time of day is the dark time. A couple of deals before dawn. Where the street belongs to the cop. And the janitor with the mop. And the grocery clerks are all gone. With the smell of the rainwashed pavement. Comes up clean and fresh and cold. And the street lamp light fills the gutter with gold. That's my time of day. My time of day. And you're the only doll I've ever wanted to share it with me. Obadiah. Obadiah, what's that? Obadiah Masterson. That's my real name. You're the first person I ever told that to. I've never been in love before, but all at once it's you, it's you forevermore. I've never been in love before, I thought my heart was safe, I thought I knew the score. But this is wine that's all too strange and strong. I'm full of foolish song, and out my song was born. So please forgive this helpless haze I'm in. I've really never been in love.
And now, for the feature number of the evening, the Hotbox proudly presents Miss Adelaide and her debutantes. <laughs> Yeah, that's not bad. 
Anyway, Nathan is actually smart. Nicely. What's the message? Where is Nathan? The crap game's still going on. Since last night? Big Jewel, being a large loser, did not wish the game to terminate. In fact, he was most insistent that we find another place for another game. Well, nicely. Where's the game? You looking for some action? Not at the moment, but I do want to talk to some of you guys. See, I gave a marker to, well, someone, and I'd like to clean it up before... I'll meet you outside. Well, what's Nathan's message? God! Is that a lead? Nathan is in Pittsburgh with a rare tropical ant goodbye. Why? I don't understand. A sky? Nathan has to be here tonight for eloping to get married. Is it the crap game again? It's Nathan. Why does it surprise you? But he promised he'd change. Change, change. Why is it the minute you dolls find a guy you like, you take him in for alterations? What about you men? Why can't you marry people like other people do? Have a home with wallpaper, bookends. No, Miss Adelaide. What do you mean, no? You see, guys like Nathan Detroit, and yeah, Sky Masterson, we don't belong in a life like that. It's no good. No good. Where are you going? Las Vegas, maybe? Got a ticket for the late plane. Will you see Nathan before you go? Possibly. Tell him I never want to speak to him again. They never call me here. Why don't you just get another guy? Why can't I love Nathan? Wait till you fall for someone. You'll find out. Yeah. In other words, just be sitting alone at a table reserved for two. A person can develop the world. You can bundle her up in a woolies, no, I mean the warmest brand. You can wrap her in sweaters and coats till it's more than her brain can stand. If she still
Hello, Miss Sarah. Sister Abernathy, how's the soul saving going? Big meeting tonight, isn't it? It's supposed to be. The general will be there, and he's expecting... The general's a tough doll, eh? Well, very few people will be there. Nobody, in fact. And I don't think Mr. Masterson is interested in our troubles, aren't you? Huh. We've got to hurry. Miss Sarah, you may have forgotten, but as a gambler, I'd never forget something like this. You still hold my marker for 12 sinners tonight. Thank you, Mr. Masterson, but I'd rather you forgot about it. I never welch on a marker. Mr. Masterson, last night the mission was filled with your friends. Let us say we are even. You don't stay up on that marker, I'll tell the whole town you're a dirty welcher. <laughs> Nicely. Where's the crap game? Well, Sky, it's about ten minutes' walk from you. Which way? This way. <laughs> I do not care who is tired. I'm out 25 trees, so no one leaves. A gentleman, I begin to see the logic of Big Jewel. It is not the easiest so a loser he just uh, nearly was to win. Uh, right, Big Jewel? Right. I give the dice. I'm shooting 500. Take 200. Don't shut up. Big Jewel here will arrange the other half. It's a one to one. Snake eyes, you lose. And give me dollars for the house. But the dice is still yours and you love to Shut up. Change. Another 500. 200 more. And here comes that big lucky roll. <clears throat> Snake eyes again. Tough luck, big jewel. Well, that cleans me. I will now play on credit. <laughs> oh, thank you. 
all I tell is, oh, all of them here are pretty tired, but poisoning me. I'm as fresh as a daisy. Then I roll you. I mean. Yeah, you. You've been wrecking that every single part. You must have put a bundle by now. Uh, well, I assume some of the risks, so I assume some of the dogs. Roll. I won't roll you. Willy or Nilly. If I lose, I'll give you my mark, though. And if I lose, you'll give him cash. Let me hear from Big Jewel. You will give me cash. That is good from Big Jewel. What's the matter? I owe you $1,000 signed X. How is it that you can read and write 1000 but you can't write your own signature? I was good in arithmetic. Stuck in English. Well, this will put you through Harvard. To change my luck, I will be using my own personal dice. Your own dice? Had it made especially for me in Chicago. Uh, big Jewel, you cannot interpolate Chicago dice in a New York City crap pin. Yeah, that's a breach of etiquette. <laughs> and show me where it says that the Emily Post. Uh, big Jewel, not that I wish to us. Uh, these heavy, but could I take a look at these dice? These dice don't got no spots on them. They're blank. I had the spots taken off for good luck. I remember where the spots formerly were. You tell me you're gonna roll and remember where the spot formerly was. Why not? I see no reason. Five and a five. My point is ten. I still got a chance. Kenzie, come again, Z. I want him to fall down on his end, Z. Ten. A ten. Six and four. Uh, well, which one's a six and which one's a four? Either way. Well, uh, look at time. I just remembered I'm eloping and Adelaide's waiting for me. Detroit, I'm going to roll you for 2000 How about letting the other chaps in on some of the fun? No, 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 no. After, I'm done with you. Seven! I win. What a surprise. Detroit, I think I'm going to take it easy this time. Oh, what do you mean? I'm shooting you for one dollar. I'll take all of it. Mm -hmm. Oh, would you look at that? Snake eyes. I lose. What a surprise. Mm -hmm. With this, I've got to walk up and down. Detroit, I will now roll you for 3,000. Three G's? Yep. Put it down. Wouldn't it be easy if I just put it straight into your pocket? Down. Please, me. I will now play with only you. Oh, wait. No, 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 you no, gotta no, give me no. a chance to get there using my dice. All right, fair. What are you gonna use for money? I'll give you my marker. <laughs> and you want Big Jewel to put up cash? Nick didn't done it. Of course I done it. What sort of a crap game is this anyway? Oh, Nathan, calm down. And with this no spot dice, somebody ought to knock the spots off him. <laughs> now, uh, Nathan, uh, don't make Big Jewel have to do something to you. Yeah, I'm on vacation. Go ahead, shoot me, put me in some meth. At least they won't know I would lie. I spent my entire life and I risk it on this crap game. I even get promised to get married on account of it. And here, I find myself broke in a sewer. Believe me, my tough friend from Chicago, there's nothing you could have do that would have killed me up. Are you trying to get somebody else? Good evening, gentlemen. Ah, uh, fresh blood. You looking for some action? Not at the moment. But I would like to talk to some of you guys. We're not talking, we're shooting crap. I only need a minute. We're shooting crap. Look, it's about Miss Sarah's mission. Say, who is this guy? It's uh, the guy I told you about. You know, so conditions all the better. Oh, I get it. Listen, buddy, why don't you go back to your praying tomato? You're slowing the action around here. Well, if you're looking for some action, why don't we make a small wager on a proposition? What's the proposition? Hmm. Am I left-handed or right-handed? How the hell would I know that? Well. I'll give you a clue. Whoa! Damn! That kind of intimistic. I see it from. Why, thank you. No. Look, you guys. Miss Sarah's mission at 409 West 49th Street is holding a midnight prayer service. I told him I'd bring him some sinners. And as far as sinning goes, most of you are high among the pain cards. Now listen here, Scott. There is no way that I'd head to some hallelujah joy. If you don't do it as a favor to me, do it as a favor to yourselves. I'm sure the air of the mission smells much cleaner than down here. Plus, it wouldn't hurt some of you to learn something else besides the odds of making a four the hard way. You've been reading the Bible too much. So what? 
<laughs> Maybe the Bible doesn't read as lively as a scrap sheet, but is at least twice as accurate. Well, I tried. See you around, Nathan. Oh, uh, wait, Sky, about the Havana business. I regret to inform you, I temporarily do not have $1,000 to pay you right now. You don't have to pay me. You won. But I took, you took Miss Sarah to Havana with you. Uh, you thought wrong. Get yeah, that big jewel. I now got the money to play using my dice. You mm -hmm. ain't nothing to do with it. With those dice, you can't make a pass to save his soul. What'd you say? I said, with those dice, you can't make a pass to save his soul. Well, maybe I can make a pass to save his, mm -hmm. yours, yours, <laughs> and his. <coughs> I'm gonna roll the dice. I'm bet a thousand dollars against your souls. One thousand cash mm -hmm. against the marker, against your souls. If I win, you all have to show up at the mission. How does that sound? So, let me get this straight. If we win, we each get a thousand bucks. And if you win, we gotta show up to this Bishop Dole's cabaret. If I win, you all have to show up to the Save the Soul mission. One meeting. Fine by me. By me too. Hmm? You good. too, Nathan. Thousand dollars against your soul. Me? I don't even know if I got one. You got one someplace. How do you spell soul? S O. All right, put down your markers. Give me the dice. Okay. Go ahead. And here we go. Here we go. Oh. Give me room. Oh, oh God! Oh. Roll the dice. Go. Come on, quit stalling. Roll the dice. Oh, what's the matter, Sky? You trying to chicken? <laughs> Don't see me roll for a hundred cheese. But I got a little more than dough riding on this one. They call you Lady Luck, but there is room for doubt. At times you have a very unladylike way of running out. You're on a state with me, the pickings have been lush. And yet, before this evening is over, you might give me the brush. You might forget your manners. You might refuse to stay. And so the best that I can do is pray. Luck be a lady tonight. Luck be a lady tonight. Luck if you've ever been a lady to begin with Luck be a lady tonight Luck let a gentleman see How much a dame can be I know the way you treated other guys you've been with Luck be a lady to me A lady doesn't need to put her It is fair it isn't nice A lady doesn't wander all over the roof If you blow on some other guy's face The party for parties You never get out of my sight Stick with me, baby, I'm a fellow You can't get with a luck be a lady Luck be a lady Luck be a lady
want to go to no prayer meeting. Hey, Joel, you give your marker. And if you welch, it will cause me no little embarrassment. And I'm sure you wish to cause me no embarrassment. But if it ever gets back to Chicago that I went to a prayer meeting, no decent person will ever talk to me. Oh.
now several minutes past midnight. Isn't anyone coming? Sergeant Sarah, something is very wrong. Maybe your watch is fast. General, I know what's wrong. I'm wrong. I've failed. I've spoken to these people day after day, but my words haven't reached them. I, I think you had better just close the Welcome, door. brothers. Welcome. Is everyone here? Where's Nathan Detroit? Present. Here you are, Miss Sarah. One dozen or more assorted sinners. Sorry we didn't have time to clean them up. Won't you gentlemen sit down? Sit down, all of you. Welcome, all of you, to the Save a Soul mission. Just for me, you guys. This is a mission, not Rosalind. And I suggest you not indulge in any unpleasantness. Since I'm required to depart for West Point tonight, I'm appointing Nathan Detroit as Major Domo in my place. Nathan, anyone who does not conduct themselves according to oil will have to deal with Sky Masters in person. And that means in person. What a remarkable young man. And so remember that, you guys. And Sister Adam and you guys. Thank you. Tonight, we are honored. This meeting will be conducted by the head of our organization, General Cartwright. <clears throat> it is wonderful to see our mission graced by the presence of so many evil-looking sinners. <clears throat> now, who would like to testify? Who would like to start the ball rolling by confessing their sins? Benny, give testimony. I ain't no stool pigeon. Oh, come now, brothers. I know it is difficult, but let one profess the sin that is in his heart. Ebenezer South Street. I always was a bad guy and a gambler, but I promise not to do it no more. <laughs> I thank you. There. Don't you feel better now? I guess. <laughs> Anyone else? They do. I always was a bad kid when I was little, but ever since then, I've gone as straight as I can, as my record of 33 arrests, but no convictions. <laughs> Harrison! Oh, come on! Harry the horse! So when Sky wrote us for our souls, uh, I beg your pardon? Sky Masterson, he wrote us a thousand dollars against our souls. It's why we're here. I don't think I understand. I do, General. He means that they are only here because Mr. Masterson won them in a dice game. How wonderful! All of you here as a result of gambling? It just shows how good it can come out of evil. Sergeant Sarah, you have done remarkable work. Hasn't she, though? Thank you. Now just wait. I haven't finished my testimony yet. My sins is that when Sky wrote us, I wish we would have won $1,000 instead of having to come here. But now that I'm here, I still wish it. <laughs> Anybody else? Get up, you water buffalo! Well, it happened to be kind of funny. Like a, like a, like a dream. Yeah, that's it, a dream! Tell us in your own words. I dreamed last night I got on a boat to heaven And by some chance I had brought my dice along And there I stood And I hollered so 
one saved me, but the passengers, they knew right from wrong. Poor people all said, sit down, sit down, you're rocking the boat. People all said, sit down, sit down, you're rocking the boat. And the devil will drag you under, but I'm shot the path of the ocean. Sit down, 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 drop in the bow. I sailed away on that little boat to heaven, and by some chance found a bottle in my veins. And then I stood nicely passing out the whiskey. But the passengers came around to this. For the people of Seti West, you're on a heavy track. People of Seti West, beware your subtle check. And they will drag you under, with the day to die, and you will get the road, sit down, 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 and as I laugh at the passengers to heaven, a great big wave came and watched me over the boat. As I say, and I heard someone say to me, that's the moment I woke up, thank the Lord. Sit down, sit down, you're rocking the boat. Sit down, sit down, sit down, you're rocking the boat. Sit down, sit down, sit down, you're rocking the boat. Sit down, 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 testifying in court, or I will testify that you ran a crap game in this mission last night. Miss Sarah, you were standing there when they came out. <coughs> you saw them. Aren't these the foes? I never saw them before in my life. There's a ride broad. Now if you would excuse us, Lieutenant, we'd like to go on with our meeting. I never saw crap shooters spend so much time in a mission. <laughs> Maybe that's what they mean by holy rollers. And Sister Sarah, I do have something to, to confess. We uh, did shoot crap in the mission last night, and we're terribly sorry about it. Ain't boys. Yes. And I'm terribly sorry about something else, too. I made a bet with a certain guy that he could not take a certain doll to Havana with him. Although, it did no harm, as I won the bet. You won the bet? Yeah. He told me he didn't take the doll with Havana to him, and uh, that makes me feel a lot better. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, if you would please join us in singing song number 244, follow the <coughs> <bold. coughs> oh.
it. She even lay up and tell my mother. Your mother will understand. Just tell her your engagement is broken. I'm afraid that might confuse her. <laughs> Maybe I'll tell her that Nathan's dead and then see to it. You mustn't carry hate in your heart, Miss Adelaide. Try to be forgiving and understanding, and the pain will go away. In the Bible, it tells us in Isaiah. 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 You got a boyfriend named Isaiah, huh? <laughs> Isaiah was an ancient prophet. Oh, don't tell me. No one cries like that over an old guy. Whoever it is, you've got it bad. You know, when I saw you with Sky Master Oh! Oh, no, not Sky. You're not in love with Sky. Oh, you poor thing. I thought I hated him. Oh, I thought I hated Nathan. I still think I hate him. That's love. <laughs> oh, Adelaide, can't men like Sky ever change? For 14 years, I tried to change Nathan. I always thought how wonderful he would be if he were different. <laughs> I thought that way about Sky, too. I'm sad and fished him by the hour. Nathan, my Nathan, in his little house out in the country. <laughs> Gee, wouldn't it be wonderful? Wouldn't it? And if only Sky. <laughs> they just can't change. You know, just a little while ago at our prayer meeting, there were gamblers there who acted as though maybe they could change. Yes, but that doesn't mean gamblers at your prayer meeting! Was Nathan Detroit there? I'm sure I heard that name. My darling little fellow with really tiny ears. I think so. Oh, I didn't like that rat. Right when he ought to be lying, he's telling the truth. Oh, I am glad I'm through with him. And you ought to be glad you're through with Scott, too. I am. What, are we crazy or something? I've gone and made us in sex and plot a lesson I've been taught. You can't get alterations on bread yet. At any vegetable market from Borneo to Nome, you mustn't squeeze a melon till you get the melon home. You've simply got to gamble. You get no guarantee. Doesn't that kind of apply to you and I? You and to me. Whatever. <laughs> Why not? Why not what? Marry the man today. Trouble though he may be. Much as he likes to play. Crazy and wild and free. Marry the man today. Rather than sigh and sorrow. Marry the man today and change his ways tomorrow. Marry the man today.